I was 13 and a half at the time and we went to this show of Hansel and Gretel and I I enjoyed it very much because it was written up originally for as a family production so the librettist and the composer who were I think a brother and sister-in-law and she wrote the libretto and she used a lot of German folk songs in it so you you kind of knew half of the music by the time you showed up so it's very um, immediate in a connection and I really enjoyed the first half it was nice it was fun but then I came in after the interval and it's where the dew fairy starts the second act and I just heard this eerie ethereal out of worldly sound and I didn't know where it was coming from. I was a soprano singing the Taumenschen song. And then suddenly I saw this little sparkle halfway up on the right hand side of the stage in one of these sort of trees that were part of the set. And then I looked closer and it was this girl dressed in this green outfit with the odd sequin and diamonti sewn on. And she was the dew fairy and she sang, she sang this song and it it's quite high the tessitura so it looks sounds really really lovely and then the end when she has this long note that she holds she she flew across the stage and just flew off on on the in the flying machine and it was just yeah it was just different i thought yeah this is what i want to do i want to fly across the stage singing high notes and um it was really hard to fight because coming from a very working class background no one had any problems with me liking classical music or singing but it wasn't considered a job you had to do a proper job and not out of you know it's not like that they push you it's not like that they want you to do something that they want you to do but they were just afraid that you wouldn't have enough to live on and that you wouldn't have food in a fridge and being themselves quite poor they can't support you. It's not like um, middle class kids who maybe can live at home or, um, you know, we see that now with the internships. It was literally, you have to earn your own keep and would you be able to do that as a singer? So it was more fear of a secure future that made them sort of work against it. And um, it was a hard, hard fight and I had to finance it myself and it was always second fiddle. I always had to do something else for a long, long time till I actually got to a point where I trained enough to be able to work and earn a living with it.